This is what the progressive movement is all about. One man told me the Republican misinformation machine is just too much to handle. Why is it that people vote against their, their own best interests? I'd like to know. I think one of the reasons why is because many people in the people I know personally got jobs. And many of them don't want to walk the boat. And many of them have told me, uh, keep your mouth shut. Um, because uh, you, you might get terminated or you might get a backlash. You're talking about workplace intimidation. Yes. The problem now is that too many people have misinformation, but they, want to hear, they don't want to accept the facts. And sometimes the misinformation takes over the facts. Now, where in the world would they be getting all this misinformation? Would it be right-wing radio that permeates all throughout the South where you can't find liberal talk radio? Or anything else that would compare to the spewing of hate that comes out across those states? Why is it that the Republican Party has such a grip on the South? That was one of the questions I asked. What is it? about Republican policy when it comes to cutting education, denying health care, going after pensions, shipping jobs overseas. What is it that the South doesn't get about American workers? Meanwhile, education cuts, Republican misinformation, and voting against your own self-interest, just the tip of the iceberg. The right to vote is now under attack by Republicans all across this nation, well documented on this network. This year alone, at least 82 restrictive voting bills were introduced in 31 states. The South is trying to spread, my friends. Republicans have realized that their policies simply do not speak to Americans, so they're trying to rig the system. Very clear. We've seen it all. Radical voter ID laws, cuts to uh, early voting hours, gerrymandering, redistricting, changes to registration when it comes to same-day registration. Make no mistake. Make no mistake that this is racist. Make no mistake that these restrictive laws mostly impact poor and African-American voters. The very people you just saw stand up and tell those real-life stories about what's happening in their backyard. Good old Alabama. Man stood up and said, Ed, welcome to Alabackwards.